Upland is hope you all have an amazing day today in this video I'm going to be going over the release of Las Vegas how it went how I went a little bit of the news in between and um, how I'm going to be preparing for the week ahead before the collection release now before I duck into that I wanted to just say I'm still giving away a Chicago townhouse valued at 150,000 UPEX so if you do want to win that make sure you are subscribed hit the bell icon if you want as well that would be amazing and also like this video and just tell me when you started playing Upland and why if you want as well um, I love hearing all that sort of stuff too um, just before I get into Vegas as well I just want to congratulate Loyal Doyle for winning broadcaster of the year um, I was actually watching um, Up Lando and Dirk's um, podcast or live stream, or whatever you want to call it. And um, one of the things um, Dirk actually said, who I respect, and um, you know, I think he's an amazing mind in this space, and is obviously one of the CEOs of Upland, was that he loved the fact that. Um, People like myself, Loyal Doyle, Radish Head, Uplando, all these guys are independently broadcasting um, things for Upland. He actually said it's great for the game, great for the economy, and it also takes a little bit of weight off their shoulders because they can focus their, their time not on necessarily doing all these videos. We do them for them, and then they can focus on other things. So not just me, Radish Head, Loyal Doyle, all these guys. Make sure you subscribe to their channel too, guys. Make sure you send them some love, drop comments, do all that sort of stuff, and um, he, he Dirk himself said this really does help the game so um, make sure you're doing that guys um, not just myself but these guys all spend time out of their days to sort of help the Upland community so let's make sure we give them some love back I'll make sure I always do that as well we're not in competition we're all um, we're all here for the, the greater good of Upland so congratulations again mate you're, you've done a good job you're the first YouTube video I ever watched on Upland so congratulations mate all right so the the city release of vegas now i'd love to hear what you guys thought of it and how you actually fared did you think it was good did you not like it whatever um i'd love to see how you think it went um i personally think it went pretty damn well i had a few hiccups along the way and i'll get into those now with what actually happened with my gameplay and um how i fared in it as you can see i picked up a handful of properties here nothing crazy but i still dropped about 350k down in the um, release now what i essentially did was my plan was i was going to send myself to here and keep sort of clicking back to my property until i was floating up towards here and i obviously wanted to hit the art district just like just about everyone did as well you've also sort of floated into downtown and las vegas boulevard as well which was the plan now i started headed in the right direction i was ticking along here really really nicely and then i checked the discord and it said the the release had been pushed back half an hour and i was stoked because i was not floating up here quick enough if it did release i would have actually been about on time i would have been about here when the city got released which is not where i wanted to be however they pushed it back half an hour unfortunately my block explorers more started drifting up this way and um when it got released i was about here now this is the part where i had the problem and i did want to ask if you guys had this too so i'm i'm in the discord it says five minute countdown i'm like cool and then so just so you guys know 3 3 30 a.m in the morning was when it got released for me being in australia and um so i'm sitting there waiting i'm looking at the clock i'm like cool the 3 30 hits it's when it should have got released and um, I'm sitting there and this felt like really long maybe it was just you know when you're watching the clock it seems to go really slow um, I'm waiting for all the properties to light up green around me so I can start buying I was sort of very close to this Charleston Avenue and um, by the time so about 30 seconds in I'm like nothing's lighting up green what's going on maybe it's been pushed back further what's going on what's going on and then all of a sudden the properties directly around my block is where I lit up green and then pretty much everything else along Charleston Boulevard was sold already light blue so it had already been snapped up you know before I even got the opportunity to buy a single property and I was like what the hell like this that you know what I, mean? I was like god damn it so then I was like well any everything around me was sort of taken so I'm like all right cool Arts District, I know that's going to be gone if this is all gone. Um, Main Street, I knew it was going to be gone. So I went to my plan B, which was this street here, which was, what's it called again? Frankston? Uh, Fremont Street. Um, and I'm like, quickly sent myself up here. Everything, this is all within a minute, guys, was sold along here within a minute or two. And I was like, God damn it. So I sent myself back here. I just wanted to, I was like, I'll pick up three or four properties in downtown. 
I've bought one here, bought one here, and pretty much everything else was sold within minutes. But the pro ma one of the main problems was though, and this hadn't happened to me in any other city releases, a property would be green and I'd click on it and then it would the bio icon would be grey and it's like obviously the someone's already in the process of buying this. So I'm not too sure if it was just there was so much competition and um, you know, I wasn't just being quick enough or either I was getting lag or whatever it may have been, but it just I found it so hard to get properties in this downtown area. Every green thing I'd click on would be grey and then it would just sort of be sold. Um, everything then by the time I'd sort of unclick it then go to the next one it was sold and sold and it was just this chain reaction I was like man so I had no luck in downtown well I did have a little bit of luck I got two if it becomes a collection at the end of the day I can either sell them for a, a lot or I could buy one more and uh, fill the collection either one I could sort of want to do I'll get into that a little bit later so if downtown was fully taken had been a big one obviously new art district was going to be taken i knew that um main street was going to be taken i knew las, Va las vegas boulevard was going to be taken um and the new university district would obviously be all taken too because they're actually more in demand than these ones i was looking at i was sort of i went for the safe bet and it was still not not quick enough sort of thing so I went to my plan B, which was obviously I thought there was a bit of a chance Twin Lakes could become a collection as, um, you know, it's a nice area of golf clubs, there's museums, there's, you know, all that sort of stuff. There's gated communities and stuff in there too. So I went over to, to uh, Twin Lakes and I think I picked up like nine or something there. Yeah, nine. And, um, but, you know, I'm not holding my breath that those will become a collection. But if it does, I'm, I'm, I'm golden because, you know, nine, nine there, I could easily... Um, I could easily, you know, fill my collection of three or possibly four properties in there and then sell a few at double, triple what I sort of paid for them. So not mad at that. And then obviously this is almost plan C, but there's obviously a bit of a chance Sunrise could also become one. I, again, I don't think it will, but I picked up six properties there um, just just in case. So I was just, just hedging my bets there and going, look, it's one of the small, I know it's still a very big suburb, but it's a lot smaller than like East Las Vegas and um, what is it, Sun Streets and Paris paradise and all that so i was like well it is one of the smaller ones it is a nicer community there are restaurants and stuff in and around there sort of thing and um yeah it um yeah it was like you know it's 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 just a long shot but you never know sort of thing and i don't think that they're going to be bad buys anyway um it obviously from anyone that knows pretty much from westchester up was seemed to be the places everyone wanted to go because it minted out in minutes and there's obviously still quite a lot of properties to mint down here if we maybe even zoom into my block explorer i'm sure there'll be a lot of properties in and around here that are still for mint sort of thing or not um i'm sure there is out here um yeah there's still big ones and stuff like that out here sort of thing but it's it's minting up it's minting up quick um they're bigger blocks obviously so take a little bit longer um but yeah there's still plenty to mint down south sort of thing so um the other thing was obviously and i do apologize for anyone that did want to do this node however it just it sold out so fast and everything like i said on that free mount filled, filled up so quick and even this area here, I did pick up a couple and I did try to buy up in downtown East after, but again, it was just, it was sold out. It was just so quick, how quickly everything sold out in Las Vegas. Uh, well, this north side of Las Vegas anyway. So um, I wouldn't call it an epic fail on my part, but it definitely didn't get the properties I really, really wanted. Um, I didn't even get greedy and try and go into the Arts District or Las Vegas Strip or anything like that. And I still sort of came up a little bit short than I would have liked. However, I'm not mad at all. I think I've still done quite well and I like the way they release this stuff. I mean, in LA, I was... I, I landed properties on Ventura Boulevard with ease, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's just, and that's sort of the fun of these releases is, you know, it's it's an even keeled. Like sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't, you know? Like I, I got quite lucky in, um, in Queens even, you know, I got some stuff on Northern Boulevard, you know, a lot of shops and stuff along Northern Boulevard. So it's just, a, it's the nature of the beast, I guess you can sort of say. It makes it a bit of fun. It makes it a level playing ground. However, I'd love to see what happened with that lag. Um, I don't know if anyone else had it, but I'd probably, would it's a good 40 seconds behind um, um, being able to mint. And I think that really held me up dramatically because if I was able to mint immediately, I would have gone bang. Then I would have quickly been able to go to, to Fremont Street, then quickly gone. To, and I would have been like sort of ahead, whereas I was really chasing my tail, even up in North um, Twin Lakes. 
it was a bit of a struggle sometimes. I was like, I'd click on something and there'd be a grey one, and then I'd, but luckily there was enough there that you know I did find a few sort of thing, and I was be able to pick some up quickly. The other thing that sort of held me up a little bit, and I'm not, I've never really had this happen before on a city release. On about my fourth or fifth property, the thing kept coming up like, "Are oh, you are a robot?" and it'd be like click the traffic lights and then i'd click verify and then another one would come up and be like now find the stairs and i'm like dude like one like what and it was sort of it'd take a good minute or two to, to buy, actually buy a property so i was sort of sitting there going man not only did i start behind but i'm already getting the are you a robot thing and i'm clicking all the traffic lights and next and then it would pinwheel for a second and then boom went pop up and now pick the stairs i'm like god damn it whereas um there was a little little um i won't zoom in but there was a little sort of nice street i found in there and i was like oh i could just buy this whole little street in in um twin lakes and i jumped on it bought one i think i bought a second one and then by the time i hit the third one the rest were all gone so because i had to click the stairs and all that sort of stuff i was like god damn it's killing me um sort of thing so um yeah not too sure if that happened to anyone else um i'd love to hear from you if it did but um overall i'm relatively happy i think um you know the yield with all these properties are good and if i can at least hit a collection or two um, i'm pretty confident that um obviously my downtown ones will become one and um you never know they might even pick a downtown east or downtown south instead of it because they're a bit smaller um and then at twin lakes and sunrise i've got quite a few in there so um you know there's always a bit of a long shot that one of those might come become one as well um i know in um queens were a little bit shocked with a couple of the bigger ones they chose that they, they were sort of on the radar but not and that's sort of where i'd put twin lakes and sunrise there's definitely a, a shot that they could beat them um but we'll see we're um yeah we're you know we're just playing the guessing game when it comes to that sort of stuff watched a few of the other youtubers um predictions and you know and i swear there's a lot of guessing going on <laughs> sort of thing you know you never really you never really know sort of thing you can just sort of take what i plan to done before do a little bit of research on what suburbs are good and make your guess sort of thing so um however do have a pretty good strike rate at these um so yeah i'd love to hear what how you guys went in las vegas and how you um you know how you fared but whether you picked anything up i'd love to hear some success stories to make me feel a bit better i'll live through you guys um if you got some stuff on main street or in the arts district and stuff like that i'd love to hear that sort of thing and um yeah see how we sort of all went um so just getting ready for the collection release i don't think i'm going to put anything up for sale i'm probably just going to hold on to my stuff till the collection release and i'll do a video of um how i get prepared for a collection release as well so make sure you're subscribed and bell icon for that one and um, um i can actually you make some pretty good money on the collection releases if you're paying attention so um, i'll show you how to sort of do that um so just another couple of little things here obviously found the first cars on uh upland which was pretty good pretty cool to see those um on the actual map for the first time sort of thing and um yeah it's, it's pretty cool they look look really cool on the map there so uh shouldn't be too long until we start seeing them cruising around and stuff like that i absolutely can't wait for that and obviously some of the big news coming out of the city release uh, of the ama was obviously the um, new city in rio de janeiro which will be the first international city now i actually put this up really high on my list of possible cities to um be, will become the first international city and the reasoning behind that was um, obviously there's a pretty good base in Brazil and also there's a big development team in Rio so obviously from a marketing standpoint it's actually pretty smart to go into Brazil um, first and um, sort of um, you know get get the people that are already working on it they can do a really good job there they could promote it down there and um, I actually see quite a people, few people from Rio, or not Rio, but um, Brazil actually watching my videos as well with um, captions on, so that's pretty cool. So obviously they've got a bit of a base there and it's a bit of a strategic move. And um, as we know, they've got the development team there as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm not mad at that at all. I think that's gonna be a really cool city. Love Brazil, the Senoritas. Um, yeah, it um, should be pretty, pretty cool. Um, I've always wanted to go to Brazil in real life. I've never got the opportunity, so um, pretty cool. Maybe I can pick something cool up there, buy some some favelas. <laughs> no, you don't own those. Um, but yeah, really, really cool news. So 
overall um the city release i'll probably give it you know like as far as smoothness and everything like that i'll probably give it a good like eight out of ten i think it ran quite smooth um just a little thing obviously the pushback of the time which wasn't great but it actually benefited me because it ended, i ended up floating into well the just before downtown so i was quite close to some things but then obviously just that little bit of lag i personally had obviously i'd probably have to knock it down a mark as well just for that but that might have just been me um however you know like i don't know i've just never had that happen before you know i've done quite a few city releases now and i've never just had like half a suburb already sold before i got before i was able to even mint one sort of thing so a bit of a bummer but um like i said overall it was pretty damn smooth and um you know i plan to done it again they've done remember that guys this is unprecedented what they've done like what they're doing is um you know building you know eight, remember guys every single transaction is a you know essentially a mint on the blockchain and it's never really been done before so really really cool and uh I really do think they're doing a good job overall. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hopefully you all went well, and um, I can't wait to see Rio come to life. And um, I wonder, I'm not too sure they never didn't announce that Rio would be like the next city. I still really would love to see maybe a city or two go down in America first. I'd love to, I can't wait for them to go international. I'm not saying they shouldn't. I'm not even from America. I don't really care, but. Um, I'd love to see them do like maybe Dallas or Miami and then the map sort of almost not full like there's still places like Philly and Phoenix and you know what I mean there's you know like all these cool places but I probably would have loved to see just a couple more um I think there's a couple chunks missing from um the American map so obviously another good uh, you know southern one would be you know Dallas and then another good eastern one would sort of be Miami and then I feel the map's almost not complete but you know like it's at least half full sort of thing you'd look at if you zoomed completely out of the map there'd be a city nicely spread across the whole sort of america so we'll see um i wouldn't be surprised if they do do a, another american city before they do that and maybe they're just going to work on rio in the background sort of thing but um yeah if i had to guess i'd say they'd probably do dallas just obviously with the nfl as well um and miami too sort of thing that would sort of all tie in and then look at going international but who knows who knows um beautiful guys thank you all so much for watching and um hope you all killed it in las vegas and i'll uh, see you on the next one